this time when we're all focused, no pun intended, on the, uh, the upcoming eclipse, we should realize that even uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, laser pointers can create this similar kind of damage. That is creating uh, an injury to the retina, the film in the camera, like your eye, that records the images and sends the image back to your brain. And by focusing either uh, light from an eclipse or light from a uh, laser pointer, and I'm mean talking about the so-called low energy laser pointers, you can create permanent damage to the retina. And children have been known to actually look at one of those to find out what it's all about. So while we're thinking about damage from the eclipse, let's be aware of the fact that every day these laser pointers that we use all over uh, in all educational settings like here can create as much damage uh, to the back of the eye. Particularly children are at risk because they don't understand, uh, they th look at it as a toy and they don't understand the damage that these can do. And, and shining it in someone else's eyes? It can um, cause damage as well. How yes. close would somebody have it to be? It depends on the distance you are, but there, for instance there's a recorded situation where someone shined a, a laser in a mirror and burned their retina. So this is collimated light. It it's, uh, doesn't spread out like you normally think of a light. So it maintains its intensity when reflected. And so you never want to look at the business end of a laser or point it at anyone else.